Hey guys, Puppet Kicker here. Uh, this will be another update video on the uh, Sears Suburban. Um, I put some uh, lights on it last night. As you can see, uh, I'll flip my little toggle switch. These are for my tail lights. I don't have no headlights yet. But, yeah. The third one right there in the middle is a uh, LED tail light and brake light. Um, I'm fixing to wire it to where it's uh, got tail lights when the uh, the two outer lights come on and my headlights. That'll be my tail lights. It'll be dimmer. But I'm working on something right now, and I'll show you over on my messy workbench. This is a, uh, a relay switch, I guess you would call it, or a uh, push button, no, not a push button, but a, uh, it's a little toggle switch of some sort. Um, I bought these bins and it came with a bunch of stuff in it and it has some of these in it. This one is a, uh, I'm gonna call it a three post, three phase. This is where your, your hot comes in or your ground, I'm pretty sure to work on the ground too. Either way, this is where it comes in. All right, the top post over here is where I'm gonna run it to the brake light switch. Um, it'll be on that, that third light I just showed you. This one will run to the brake section of that tail light. Uh, when I mash my brake, uh, it should make it light up bright it, like it is right now. I've got it, I've got a, a hole drilled underneath of the sears close to the clutch uh, arm. And essentially what I'm gonna do is, I've got it back away from it a little ways. So I've got this coat hanger right here, cut, bent. And what this will do, I'll have this welded onto it right here. I'll weld this. This basically just extends it out. This will wrap over my rod where my clutch is and essentially whenever I, I mash my clutch when it gets to a certain point to where like where my brakes are starting to activate it'll trigger this to light up the brake switch let me get this tack welded onto here uh, it's just it's not gonna take much but uh, let me get this welded onto here and then I'll show you the underside of where I'm mounting it all right guys this is a shot of uh, underneath of the mower uh, what I'm doing is I've took two self tapping uh, screws I pre-drilled some holes and then uh, I use these self tapping screws and you can see I've welded this clothes hanger wire on there and this is my clutch rod when I mash my clutch you can see it goes in and you can hear it right there And that's that's essentially how it's gonna work. I can go all the way up with my clutch and it's just perfect. So let me uh again let me get this thing wired up and we will test it. Uh this is mounted on the passenger side uh floor. I'll show you real quick. Right here. What I'll do is I'll break these two uh, bolts off right here, these self-tapping screws. That way they're not hitting my foot. But uh, like I said, let me get this wired up and we will be back. All right, guys, here we go. Now I'm gonna show you, uh, that's off. Turn my toggle switch on. Now you can see that third brake light is a lot dimmer. And then I'll try, whenever I mash the, the brake pedal, you can see it gets a lot brighter. So, that is how it works. Uh, when I get down to, let's see, when, whenever I get down to, I'll tell you, right, 
there that's when my brake light kicks on so there you have it that's how you uh, you install a brake light switch um, these are the type of switches that I used uh, I've got a bunch of different ones this one is a it's a single phase uh, you put your hot in here hot out here and uh, but this one whenever you mash it it kills the current and then when you depress the brake or whatever we depress this button right there it lets the current go all the way through so you could make this work you just have to redo it uh, do it some other way than I did uh, I've got a few of these so uh, let me stop the video and turn my light on and I'll show you how I've got it all wired all right let's go under the mower first of all here's my hot wire right here it runs down underneath of here I still got to tighten up all of my wires next to this red wire right here goes into the switch comes out the top post here this one is a uh, it's almost like the switch that I was just showing you if you depress if, if I press this in it kills the current that's a mosquito and if I let out it lets the current go all the way through uh, but anyhow this one runs all the way back to the brake light and as you can see when I mash my clutch right there that is activating the brake light right there so I hope that helps you all because uh, uh, I'm really really enjoying it already uh, as you can see I've got my switch off there's no lights and I can still mash my brake and it comes on and the rest of my lights do not uh, these tail lights uh, they have a ground built into it as you can see let me turn the light off there we go as you can see there's a, a chrome tab coming out of the light that's your ground point I use some self tapping screws here's my hot wire comes down runs over comes over into here into my plug that I made and there's my ground for my tail light right here uh, comes all the way up my hot wire comes all the way up to my toggle switch and then from a toggle switch to right here so again that's how you if you ever want to put brake lights on your your mower or your four-wheeler or or something like that that's how you would do it I'm straight up out the woods where I love to stay It's that country white boy that you love to hate Pushing them four wheel drives cause we love some mud And when we party we ain't stopping till the sun come up